Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of making a dynamic block that looks like this using four simple drawings. So essentially, we'll learn to make a block that is combination of four different blocks using visibility parameter of dynamic block. I'll also show you two methods of doing this. If you want to learn all about AutoCAD dynamic blocks and want to make this and other type of dynamic blocks right from scratch, then I have a full length course for you. In this course, you'll learn to make all kinds of dynamic blocks with real world examples right from scratch. Check the link here in the description of the video or in the pinned comment of this video to go to the course. So with that, let's get started. <laughs> So here we have these three blocks that we are going to group into one using dynamic block tool. So right now we have three different blocks. So this one is a block, so is this and so is this. And you can see all of these blocks inside this insert flyout. So if you go to this one, you'll see the three blocks that we have here. Now I've added these three blocks from design center and you can do so as well. So to activate design center, type ADC on your command line and press enter. Now that's going to open design center in my last view where I already have these trees, but in your case, it may not be like this. So click on this home icon. That's going to take you to the default home view and now go to E and US folder. So double click design center, double click and double click landscaping drawing. Now double click blocks and we have this. So right now we are using these three blocks. So simply select the block, drag it, and drop it here. For example, if you want to add one more, select it, then drag it and then drop it. And that's added. Now click close. And here we are, we've got all of these blocks here. Now in this case, well, we ended up with four blocks, but let's just use it anyway. Now there are two different methods of converting it into a block. And for that, I'm going to make another copy of this just to show you both the methods. So I'll simply copy it and I'll just move it here. Now both the methods have their own advantages and disadvantages. I'll start with the easier one. So I've got these four blocks here. I'll simply overlap all of these blocks first using a common base point. So I'll select this grip and I'll move it right about here. Then I'll select this and I'll go to move. I'll select this point on the left side and I will move it here. I accidentally selected both. So I'll just do it again. Move, I'll select this, enter. I'll select this point and move it here. And I'll do the same for this one. So select move this point and move it here. So we have one common base point that's about here. All right, so that's done. Now let's convert it into a block. So I'll go to create and give it a name. So I'll call it dynamic one and click on pick point. Now I'll select this point, the lower left corner as the pick point. And now I'll go to select object and select everything that we have here and press enter. All right, that's done. Now click OK and here we are. So we have got this object here. Now inside the block editor environment also, this will work like blocks because well, we have created blocks and then we are using blocks to create block. So it will obviously work like block here as well. Now to convert it into a dynamic block with visibility action, go to this parameters on block authoring palette and select visibility and click somewhere close to the drawing to just place it. So now we have added the parameter called visibility. This will control the visibility of these trees. All right, now that is added. The next thing is action. So we need to associate a visibility action, but we have an action tab. And if you go to this, we don't have anything called visibility here. In fact, the visibility action has its own panel right about here. So that's the one which we are going to use. Now in the visibility action, I'll select visibility states and currently it has one state. So we will create one state for every tree. So currently we already have this one. So let's rename it. So I'll go to rename and let's call it pine. All right. And simply press enter. Now click on new and just give it a new name. So cedar and click OK. And then again, new. Let's call it palm. And let's finally add eucalyptus because that one looks like an eucalyptus. So I'll go to new and I'll type eucalyptus and click OK. All right, so we've got four of these trees. Click OK and that exclamation is gone, which indicates that action is added. But that doesn't mean our block is finished because now with added action, we can see 
the different visibility states here. So if you go to this drop down, you'll see we have pine, cedar, palm and eucalyptus. But if you change, nothing happens here. So it's still the same block. So we need to tell AutoCAD which one is pine, which one is cedar and so on. So let's now go to pine and let's start with these two toggles here. So this one is hide, this one is show. So what we need to do is simply hide the objects well that are not pine. So I'll activate pine, go to this one, make invisible and hide everything well that is not pine. So of course this one is not pine tree, so is this and so is this. These three are not pine. I'll select the three, press enter and done. Now that's our pine tree. Let's change the toggle to cedar and repeat the process. So go to this one. Now the first thing is, well, the pine, I'll hide it. Then the palm and the eucalyptus and only cedar remains. Repeat the process for palm and eucalyptus. So hide, everything here should hide, except for this palm tree. And finally, eucalyptus. So make invisible, and there we are. We have got the eucalyptus. All right, now if you change it, well, you'll see that single block is now controlling the visibility, and we are done. Simply click Close Block Editor, save the changes, and we are done. We only have one single block and this visibility action. From here, you can change the different type of trees quite easily. And now we manage to make this dynamic block with visibility parameter. But we have a problem. For making this block, we ended up using four different blocks, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of combining everything into one single block, because we need to start with four blocks and then that will combine it into one single block. So without these four blocks, this last one is irrelevant. Now, if you don't want this, then you need to make a simplistic approach. You need to just avoid using blocks altogether. Let's try that. So I've made this copy and that's what I'm going to use now. So I'll select it all and I'll type X and enter. That's going to explode it all. And now since it is exploded, it is no longer a block. All of these things are now separate entities. But that presents us with another challenge. It is really hard to select all of these objects when they are overlapping. So we need to find a suitable way of selecting these objects separately. Now in this case, I'm going to use color, but you can use whatever method you feel is suitable. And in most of the situations, you won't find these kind of complex drawings. It will be easier to make the selection. So in this case, I'll simply select the drawings and I'll change the color of these drawings. So I'll go to this color drop down, and I'll go to more color and I'll simply select the color from this list. So here I'll select color 60. Then I'll select the second one. I'll go to the drop down. Again, more colors. Let's select 70 for this. For palm, let's select 80. And finally, for pine, well, of course, 90. All right. So we've got four of these, well, colors here. Now we'll simply overlap it. So I'll just select it all and select move, select this point and I'll overlap it here. Then I'll select it all. I'll go to move, select this point, overlap it here, select it all, move, select this point and overlap it here. Now, once again, let's go to block editor. So go to create, give it a name. So I'll call it dynamic two. Now pick point, of course, that's the same common point, this one. Select objects, well, select everything this time and press enter. Open in block editor should be checked and with that, click OK. Now in this case, as you can see, everything kind of overlaps and it is really very difficult to make this selection and that's why we changed the color beforehand. So let's start with parameter. So everything will remain the same except for the selection part. So I'll go to visibility, I'll add it here and now here go to visibility states and just add four different names for the, these states. So I'll simply click here, rename, that's our cedar, palm, pine, and finally eucalyptus. Click OK and we are done. Now we need to specify which one is which. So for that, I'll simply go to this option, but now this option is a bit trickier because if I go to this option here, well, it's hard to make the selection now because we don't know which one is which. So here I'll use a selection tool called quick select. So I'll simply type Q select and press enter. Now this will let us make selection quite easily. So now as we have eucalyptus selected here, let's make selection for eucalyptus. And for that, I'll go to this option, apply to. In the object type, I'll keep multiple selected because we want to select everything that is here. Now in the property, I'll select color equals. And here in the value, I'll go to select color 
and I'll simply select the color which we assigned for eucalyptus and that's our color 60. Click OK and done. Now if I click OK that's going to select only the eucalyptus but here we only want to remove eucalyptus from our selection because we want to hide everything else. So select exclude from new selection set and click OK. Now everything except for our eucalyptus tree is selected and that includes this object. So I'll press and hold shift, click here and that's going to remove it from our selection set and now click on this option here, make invisible and done. So that's our eucalyptus. Now this may look like a bit intimidating but it's quite easy if you try a few times. Now let's repeat the process. So I'll go to this drop down and this time I'll select cedar and I'll repeat the process. So Q select and here everything else is set. All we need to do is just change the color. So color for cedar was 70. So I'll go to select color. I'll make it 70. Okay. Exclude from selection set. Click OK. Everything is selected except for that cedar tree. I'll press and hold shift and remove this one from selection set and now click on make invisible. Done. And repeat the process for the remaining two trees. So I'll go to palm, Q select and that's as you know 80. Press and hold shift, remove this one and click on make invisible and finally I'll go to pine. Again Q select and this should be 90 this time and click OK. Now press and hold this visibility and make invisible and we are done. Now if you change it well it is showing the respective color for this. Now here after making the changes, just in case you don't want these colors, you can now change it back to the default color. So you can just select it all, go to home and change the color to default color. It won't make any difference. So now it's by layer and you can actually repeat the process for every single one of these objects or you can leave it the way it is. Maybe in this case, I'll just change everything back to this by layer option. All right and everything is back to the layer option. With that click on close block editor, save the changes and we have this dynamic two block where everything has the default color and we are no longer relying on simple blocks to make this one and that's how you can use dynamic blocks. So you can use any of these two methods. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages and depending on the situation you can use either. Now if you want to learn more about dynamic blocks then there are well several different type of dynamic blocks that you can make and the best place to learn about the dynamic block is this course. So simply click the link in the description of the video or the first comment and that will take you to the dynamic block course where you can learn to make this and several other type of dynamic blocks right from scratch. So check that course and with that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.